always wanted to create art for other people to be able to relate to because I know that I'm not the only person like this. I know that I've had unique experiences, but I do know there are people out there looking for other people to share those experiences with. My name is Roy Davila Jr. and I'm a film and video senior here at CCAD. So I'm from Raymondville, Texas, which is a small town located in South Texas. It's an area full of culture and history that I feel is often overlooked when people think of Texas. So when I moved to Ohio, I was starting to feel a little bit homesick in those early years. I was doing as much as I could to bring a little bit of my culture to me to keep me going. And in doing so, I started to create lots of work that were unintentionally inspired by everything that I lived back in Texas. So my senior thesis film is a dark drama that is heavily inspired by my culture and events that took place within my hometown back in the 1970s. I kind of consider it a love letter to my hometown. Being away from there and being over here in Ohio at CCAD really made me look at my culture and my life back in Texas from a new perspective. What I like about the CCAD film program is that you're able to cover so many bases. For my class assignments, I've not only gotten the chance to edit, direct, write, shoot the camera, but I've also been able to explore skills that I already had, such as makeup. I remember being 11 years old and watching Zombieland, going to my nearest Halloween store and buying a makeup kit because I wanted to turn myself into one of those zombies that I had seen on screen. I enjoy doing special effects makeup because it allows me to become something else or turn someone into something else, which I think a lot of us in this world are trying to become sometimes, even if it's just for a little bit. One of the projects I was able to do while at CCAD was a documentary on one of my friends who is a drag performer here in Columbus, Ohio. During that project, I was able to make some great connections with people within the local drag scene here. I was able to get so involved that I started doing drag myself. I would not be where I am right now today if it wasn't for that class project. Being a filmmaker and also being a drag performer, I'm able to really amp up my performances by doing visuals for the screens or the projectors or anything that might be at the venue. For like every number that I've done, I've created video visuals, I've gone out and shot some visuals or I'll use a lot of archival footage um, to really just like tell a story behind me while I'm also performing. I think it just takes my art and my performances a step further. So drag is a performance-based art that I feel really allows people to express truly who they think they are. I personally feel that anyone can do drag, no matter your sexuality, your race, your gender. Drag is for everyone and it is just a fun way for our artists to express themselves in new ways. So I would consider my drag another creative outlet for me to explore my South Texas Latino inspiration and culture even further. Now I think one of my favorite parts about being a performer is getting to share my perspectives in a whole new art form. I've already shared a lot of my perspectives in the art that I've created at school or on my own that aren't drag, but drag has allowed me to reach a different kind of audience and show my perspectives in a brand new light that a lot of people might not have expected from a drag performance. 